Pop Loft and have been in Charlotte for a while. And my sister and I snuck up, up here, snuck up to the mountain for a few days. My name is Joyce. I'm the baby sister. And I'm Sharon, the oldest sister. Absolutely. And she I'm... will not listen to me, but... <laughs> I'm not supposed to listen to you at this age. <laughs> You're supposed to be listening to me. Maybe. The younger shall lead the older. Okay. Isn't that what the Bible says? We'll discuss it later. <laughs> is that what the Bible says? Yeah. Sister Joyce. <laughs> but yeah, we've got our mugs, our take it one stitch mm. at a time mugs. I have got Christmas tea in mine. And you have, no, 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 I don't. I have lemon then Meyer I, tea. And I have black. Gray. You just said Earl Grey. Earl Grey. Yeah. So we just had to take what was up here because the, the every, it's sparse up here. We've taken just about mm -hmm. everything to the loft and. Yeah, we have come up here for a sister's weekend. Yes. We, it's short. We got up here Saturday. Yes. Yep. And yesterday, mm -hmm. what we, we just got here basically unpacked and crashed. And we did crash. And we then, knitted. Yeah, we knit we some. On the way, we stopped at a yarn shop. Mm -hmm. So we'll tell you all about oh, that a little bit yes. later in our shopping bags. But then today we woke up, we took our time waking up. Oh. And then I we, will think of that all week. We woke up, laid there in bed, talked, watched podcast, watched podcast in bed. Yeah, I don't think we left here till eleven ish. Uh, yeah, and then we got up, threw ourselves together really fast, and then we went down into town to a little coffee shop, bakery, mm -hmm. and sat there. And I knit, and you, I you started were going to a knit. project. You were going to knit, but you had your swatch. That's right. And she forgot, like, a tape measure to so we could gauge her swatch. So we're trying to measure mm -hmm. with our fingers. We kind of okay. decided that you weren't on gauge. Yeah. And you needed a different needle size. And, of course, you didn't of take course. your needles. Yeah. So she sat and scrolled her phone like you do. And I <laughs> did. And we talked. And then and then we, we went, went to the food truck. Oh, no, we went oh, shopping. yes. And then we went to the food truck, got our lunch, and came back up here. And we... Went back to bed and, <laughs> and knit and watch podcast. We should have took a, a video of us I, I in the bed I knitting. Did, I, well, I got one of us this morning okay. and watching podcast. Okay, but um, yeah. So, does anyone know that when you sleep, you snore? <laughs> <laughs> they do now. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, I, I've been at my mom's all week, and so. The grand two of the grand the granddaughters came out and spent two nights and the youngest granddaughter Mimi okay Amelia she um slept with me and first night she said she didn't sleep very well because I was snoring <laughs> so the next night I said well tell me you know just wake me up and say Gigi roll over uh -huh. so all night long it was oh <laughs> but you know your snore is a nice feminine snore it's not that heavy gruffy. It's a sweet snore. Is it? <laughs> Thank you. So I didn't budge you. I enjoyed it, sort of. You're a little off tune a couple of times. <laughs> but we made it through the night. You know what? I I have not been feeling well. So I'm going to say that's the reason why I snore. Possibly. Because, okay, so I'm a week late in podcasting. But here's what happened. And that's, it's my fault. Really? No, it really it, isn't. It's my fault. Oh, yeah, you got sick. Because what I did, okay, so I was in at the loft and I got sick on a Saturday morning with a really, really mm. bad cold. And it was more than a cold because I had a fever with it, mm -hmm. but it wasn't the flu. And so I was sick from Saturday morning. And as it goes, I had to come to Charlotte. I had a flight out Tuesday morning early. So I was in bed from Saturday morning till two, till I got Tuesday morning till I had to fly out. I had to be at the airport at six. Mm. So I was sick. I couldn't be sick because when I landed in Charlotte, I had to go straight to the hospital because my oldest grandson had emergency surgery on his foot. Mm. So I had to go straight to the airport. I mean, straight to the hospital from the airport. I let, I, I had a mask on. I, of course you have to wear it in yeah. the hospital. But, um, so then I spent maybe an hour or so with him and my daughter. Then I got her van. So I Ubered to the, from the airport to, to the, the hospital. hospital. 
I picked up her van, went to my other daughter's house to pick up her two little boys. So I had to take care of them. So when I left Milwaukee, I had to not be sick. I, I mean, just couldn't be sick. So that's proof. So yeah. I got here and her whole family had been sick with this throw up bug that was horrible. But I had to go to their house. I had to help take care of the littles. So only the one little had not had it yet. And I got there Tuesday and he came down with it Tuesday night. And mm -hmm. so then Thursday night, I came down with it. Mm -hmm. We were supposed to leave to come up here last weekend. Yes. Saturday, Saturday morning. morning. I was sick. Oh, horribly sick until Sunday. I thought, I think I started feeling better Saturday afternoon, but we couldn't chance coming up here mm -mm. because your granddaughter came down with it. You had been with her, yes, so we, we yes. were afraid you were going to get yep. it. Anyway, we were supposed to be up here last weekend podcasting, and then that would have kept me on track for every two weeks. I told you that big, long story to say why I'm late. And so now <laughs> this weekend we're up here and I still have not, I'm not You're fully not. to myself. Yeah. It's like, so that's probably why I was snoring because like every time I eat, I just get sick. Like right now I'm so nauseous. I can't hardly Have eat. you taken a pregnancy test? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I never thought. <laughs> There's a reason for everything. Oh my lands. No, I have not taken a pregnancy oh, well. test. If it keeps it up. I I think I'm okay there. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Okay, we can't be silly. <laughs> that, that shocked we me. We can't start laughing. <laughs> oh, this is so wonderful. So, here we are at the yurt. We have to go back tomorrow. No. I don't want to go back tomorrow. I want to stay up here. I get up here and I miss it so much. Oh, yeah. when we were driving up the mountain, I could just hear the joy in your heart. Mm. Oh, this is so it. Heavy. This, this is, is where it. to live. This is. is. I just wish Todd was here. Yes. But if he was here, you wouldn't be here. True. So I'm glad he's not here. <laughs> he flies in Friday. So I can't wait because I've missed him. I've been here way too mm -hmm. long. I've been away from him way too long. Anyway. Yes, I'm at the yurt, and I'm happy. And with your sister. It was so windy when we got up here oh, yesterday. Oh, what an experience. So I had already prepared her. I said the yurt is amazing when it's oh. windy. Because the sides of the yurt, the, they... the fabric, it, it actually moves, and it's so loud, and you, you're you safe. Because the circular structure yeah. of a yurt can withstand like 300 mile per hour winds. Yeah, it's... So I guess the only thing you would have to worry about is this tree blowing into you. True. Um, we keep all the trees inspected around the yurt okay. so that, but you never know. I mean, I fell asleep and it sounded like the ocean. Yeah, that's how loud it was. It was... Like you were laying on the beach. Between the ocean and the ambient, I was... And my snoring. Another, oh, <laughs> heavenly. <laughs> And yummy, I know, so yummy. She was sleep. She was falling asleep, and I was scrolling um, <laughs> Instagram. I've started this scrolling Instagram. I'm watching reels, and I mean, like for the last several nights, I've basically laughed myself to sleep because there's and that's what she, yeah yeah. You do, I think I heard laughter as soon as I between the ocean waves and the laughter. I was laughing really hard. I slept good. Mm -hmm. I was telling you might have seen this one, but. This they asked this one guy, "What's God's name?" And he said, "Howard." And they said, "Well, how do you know his God's name is Howard?" And he said, "Because in the Bible it says, <coughs> Our Father who art in heaven, Howard be thy name.'" <laughs> that is very funny to us. <laughs> Don't know if you see humor there, but <laughs> the other one I sent my sisters like late one night this week was. When I die at my funeral, take my phone and text everybody and tell them <laughs> thanks for coming. <laughs> that is a good one. Freak them out. All right. <laughs> so, now that you know that I've been sick. And, <laughs> and snore. And, and I snore. <laughs> and now we're at the yurt. Uh, I don't think anything else has been going on in my life. Has anything exciting been going on in your life? Uh, still working. Greeting visitors. No. Had my granddaughter last weekend, and that's why I'm surprised I didn't get sick. I know. She, me too. I was with her as she was 
hanging over the to toilet. Up. Bless her heart. And she got it twice. I mean, and she had like, the fever. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. My mom took care of me. She did the. Oh, oh she not the sweetest. My mom is like queen nurse whenever you're sick because I went back to the master bedroom. That's where I stay when I'm visiting her. And I said, do not come back here. I woke up Thursday morning. Mm -hmm. I poked my head out. I said, are you feeling okay? She said, yes. I said, okay, do not come back here. I am sick. I'm going to shut the door. I'm fine. Just mm -hmm. leave me alone. And she came in about three o'clock in the afternoon and said, are you okay? And I said, no, I'm just, I was still so sick. I had managed to get out to her garage. Queen of everything has everything. So I went out to her garage for a Coke. I was just dying for a Coke, a cold Coke. <laughs> Queen of everything did not have Coke. She had diet Coke. She had all kinds of diet stuff. So I made it back into the bed and I was just laying there and I thought, oh, I want a popsicle. Oh, queen of everything always has popsicle. She gives it to all of her great grandkids, the neighbor kids. She just, but none. That so when, that when she came to the door, I said, do you have popsicle? She said, no. I'm oh. like, All I want is a Coke and a popsicle. She said, well, I have Coke. And I'm like, no, you don't. Uh -huh. You have diet. <laughs> so the next thing I hear is she's out on her front porch waiting for the neighbors to come out. And I could hear her hollering to the neighbor, do you have popsicle? Are you I did yeah. not know that. <laughs> so her neighbor brought her a popsicle, and she brought me the popsicle. And oh, then, I thought Debbie. Well, later Debbie Okay, did. okay. So then I hear her on the phone calling Debbie, and I said, don't bother her. Don't oh. have her come out. She said, yes, you want Coke. So Debbie brought Coke and popsicles. Do you not have the most wonderful family? I do. And then the next day, I'm starting to feel better, so I, I want a, I want a, um, a ham sandwich. That's all I want is a ham sandwich. So I'm door dashing Subway, and it dawned on me, why the heck did I not door dash Coke and Popsicles? Because you were sick. It didn't even dawn wasn't. on me. I laid there all afternoon. I mean, I had the smallest denomination I had on my wallet was a $50 bill, and I I literally thought, could who could I pay $50 to bring me a Coke oh, and choice. Popsicles? But I thought, I can't do that. That's just ridiculous. Yeah. But anyway, well, my mom took care them. of me. <clears throat> she had it all. She had it all taken care of. And isn't, that's when our mom is just in the highest element. She loves taking, she care, is of taking care of someone. Yeah, she is. Then, after I get all be better, my mom's hot water goes out. So then we had a week of no hot water at my mother's house. <laughs> and I text my sisters and I said, I can't wait to leave first world, Charlotte, and come to the mountain to get a hot hot bath or hot shower. And I'll be doggone if I got up here. <laughs> That's what you get for being a smart ass. <laughs> I got up, we got up here last night. No, no hot, hot water. water. <laughs> Our hot water, we have a tankless hot water tank and the fuse had blown. So I'm texting my husband. He said, it's just too hard for you to figure out. I'll pay for you to go to a hotel if you want. Oh and it was late. And we're like, oh, no, no way. No. So we took a cold, like my mom calls it, whore bath. <laughs> oh. <laughs> did I did know? not know that. <laughs> she does. <laughs> she <laughs> says that word. She says whore bath. <laughs> wow, that's a new one on yeah. for me. So anyway, that's how we bathed the last night. Not together. No, no, no. One at a time. And so we're sitting here cold. and we still need bathed. <laughs> well, all night oh. long, I was like, okay, if I was up here by myself, I would have yeah. to fix this because I have to have hot water. So we went, we got up this morning, we left, and I said, I'm going to fix that mm -hmm. when I get home. So I, I, we have extra fuses. So I got the fuse, I took the covering off. I took a picture of everything and I sent it to my husband and said, now, where's the fuse? <laughs> and then he said, in that black casing. And so I took it out, oh, put the fuse in, put it all back together. Now we have hot water. So as soon as we get finished here, I'm laying in a sea salt bath. Can I go first? Yeah. Oh, how sweet. Yeah. Just because you're company. Thank you. You can go first. <laughs> If you blow a fuse in the hot water oh. tank and I don't get a hot water bath. Well, I'll save my bath water. You can use it. <laughs> Would you really? That's just too kind. Remember when we were little girls, the three of us, we, one right after the other, no, we would use the that. same bath water. I don't feel good, so don't tell oh, okay. me that. That makes me want to throw up. 
I don't remember that, but I'm sure. I mean, yeah. my kids back together. My girls did. Yeah. When they were little. Now they have little ones. Yeah, no, that doesn't seem right. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I will be in Charlotte now for one more week, and then I go back, back to the to... crop lot. I love your crop lot. I haven't seen it, but... We've seen videos video, of it. Video, yeah. But I love the yurt more. Yeah. And I can understand that. Mm -hmm. the, it, you have to be here to understand the warmth, the coziness. The serenity. So, I mean, there's yeah. something about the circular structure. Oh, it's so And now nice. with the leaves not on the trees, all around the mountains, I didn't know there were so many homes mm -hmm. on the side of the mountains. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a really good view. If we, when we get more trees down, I'm just really, I don't know about that. I don't know if I want to take trees down. He wants to. Yeah. But I feel like they hold the mountain up. I'm afraid the mountain's going well, to start it probably sliding. makes the mountain heavier. No, the roots hold the mountain up. Doesn't, isn't that the way it is? Well, you can cut the tree down and leave the roots in the ground. It would die. Oh. Is that what happens? I think. We have a Christmas tree out back. You need to plant that so that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you for tuning in. If this is your first time, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And if anyone wishes to support me through this um, podcast, there is a buy me a coffee link in the show notes. So thank you to everyone who supports me that way. And um, it really encourages me and keeps me going. So sure. thank you so much for that. And if you wish to um, support me, you can show your love through buying me a coffee. I would greatly appreciate that. And thank you forever. What is in our bags? Ooh. Well, we've been busy little knitters, busy yeah. little makers. Uh, in my bag is just more of the same. I have not cast on anything new. So let's start with something that's in your bag. Okay. Let's see here. Let me get online. Um, I not only um, oh. knit, but I sew. But I didn't. I'm working on pajamas. Okay, let's start out with this. This is the pattern. It's just your average, typical lounging pajamas for in the house. Laura's now, I wear the <laughs> grocery store. I make sure I put a bra on, but <laughs> no, I wouldn't wear these anywhere else but home. So, I decided to use this fabric. And I've got the, the bottoms half done, but I, I just didn't bring them. But look at that fabric. It's, fl it's, it's a lightweight flannel. How summery. Flannel isn't, but the fabric is. I can yeah. wear flannel year-round. Oh, I can too. And in the air-conditioned home, mm. it, it's just, I like it cold in the house anyway. Mm. So, I just wanted to show your viewers All right. This. So, now that, since we're on the sewing track. Okay. I am not the sewist. She is. But remember, I'm sewing a skirt. I showed you the last oh, yes. episode, my skirt. Okay, so. I did not want to bug her because I thought every time I have a sewing question, I can't call her. You know, I've got Google. I've got YouTube. I can figure this out. I'm a pretty smart woman. So I get everything cut out. And like she's saying, she's sending me, she knows I'm working on it. She goes, remember to cut on the grain. Is that what you said? Yeah. I said, I don't even know what the grain is, but I think I did that. I did whatever the pattern told I think, I think okay. I'm good with that. And so then I wanted to, I saw the pattern and it's, the very first thing you started talking about was the hem, how to hem it. And I thought, in my mind, I'm thinking, well, I thought you hemmed last. <laughs> so you were looking like at a summary. In the well, I don't know, but it said hem, so I thought, okay, what do I know about sewing? Maybe you do hem first. So I, hem I hand hemmed it. I was so proud it was of that. It's such a beautiful hem. And you can still leave it in. And then I... Um, folded in all the darts to the skirt and she asked me how far along are you and I said well I've got it hemmed I've got the darts um, 
basted in. The pleats. Yeah, the pleats, the pleats. Yes, thank you. So I've got the pleats basted in, and tomorrow I'm going to put, I'll start putting the waistband. And she goes, wow, I'm really impressed. She didn't say a word about him. You got the him? So then the next day I realized my skirt didn't have pleats. And that gathers. So I take all that out. And I don't know how you found out that I had hemmed. I think you had mentioned it again. I was, oh, I said, why did you hem? I said, I don't, here all these years, I thought you hemmed last. Yeah. And you said, you do. I said, well, this pattern called for hemming first. And I knew. And exactly. she said, well, read it to me. And I read it to her. <laughs> she started, she says, you've got to stop. I'm laughing so hard. Bless. Well, you know how a knitting pattern in the beginning, it will go over what you need and and yeah the but different... i would think him would have been at the finishing point well it was just telling you that was one of the steps that doesn't make any sense <laughs> so i have That's this a hem. very cute story i have partly a i have hem, hem skirt that's not even sewn together yet i, I still don't it understand is. you should did you show the fabric at your mm -hmm. last it's it's gonna be beautiful it's gonna take me a while but and with your new red sweater yeah that's not done yet what kind of shoes do you plan to wear with the outfit? Burks. I don't know. You know me. I'm not fancy. I don't know. Okay, so that's our sewing. What else is in your bags? Okay, this is... Um, I'll, just, I'll just show this one other thing. This is a tunic. Falling with Grace Tank. It's a mm. sweaterbabe.com pattern. And I have an interesting story how this even came about. Um, where I work, a gentleman has been coming in and <laughs> he's been trying. <laughs> now, what is so funny? A gentleman goes right along with our whore bad story. <laughs> This rich, where I work, yeah. this gentleman is going to go. <laughs> okay, so I work at a visitor center. <laughs> Make that. And let me back up. And this man is in the process of buying some land that we own. And he's just been coming in like three times a week. And I don't know what even, I don't even know how the subject started. But he made a comment that his wife was a knitter. And Miss Professional Sharon here at her desk says, What? <laughs> I can hear it now. I said, You said your wife is a knitter? And um, he said, Yes, she's been knitting for years. And I said, I have to meet her. Well, she came to the office. We met. Her name is Jeannie. Just a precious woman. She gave me this pattern and told me she actually brought me a finished tunic and I tried it on and I loved I it. I loved it. You sent me a picture. Oh, it was gorgeous. Yes. So in saying that, I did buy some yarn yesterday. Mm -hmm. So this is my swatch. <laughs> Backwards. So yeah, it probably doesn't show up very good. Yeah. But yes, I'm excited. Um, I definitely, this isn't the right gauge, but I'm working on it. The next time I'm with Joyce, I will show you my finished product. Well, let's make that maybe a year down the road. Mm, no, <laughs> next time. So those two things I have been working, well, the one I just started working on. I also bought yarn yesterday to make a... Oh, like um, a shawl, and I'm having problems with it, too. So, I don't want to even want to show you the You can show thing. the pattern. It's a pretty pattern. Um, oh, yeah. I have it here. I so wish they I printed know. that in color for I you. I know. It's um, night shift. No, wait, wait, wait a minute. I bet you have a bigger picture than that, don't you? I do, but it doesn't show very much. The first, the cover. Ta -da. Oh, that's part of it. I'm going to go online and try to there, find There, and then um, here he's holding it. It's really pretty. And I'm going to knit. Oh. 
These are my collars. I think that's going to be stunning. Yes. So once I figure out, I've, I've started it three times now and frogged it. It's just I can't get something right. But we will get there. You will get there. So what do you have? In my bags. And this is in my oh, little hammer bag. Is that hiding? Is it hide and hammer? I said Lillian hammer. Yeah, hide and hammer. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, so remember the um, wool and honey sweater that yes. I'm making that's going to match the skirt perfectly. So mm. I finished the body of the sweater, and I love it. And mm -hmm. I got this much of the sleeve done. So I've got the sweater and this much of the sleeve. Mm. And I thought I had been, I love the way the sweater fits. And I thought I tried the sleeve on as I was knitting and I got clear down to here and I tried it on and the sleeve is too tight. So what I'm going no to do, problem. I'm gonna take it back. I do not like this sleeve. I think it looks pretty on the sweater, but on my arm, I don't like that. I really like the balloon sleeve. So that's what I'm gonna redo. I'm gonna take this sleeve back and we'll put it on. I'm gonna go up a needle size and I'm gonna do the sleeves. I'm not gonna do this ribbing. I'm gonna go down to about the, mm. the wrist. No, I, I'm gonna end at the wrist. So I'll probably, I'll, anyway. Delightful. I know, but I'm kind of bummed that I'm, well, I should I be finished. But, but it's turning out gorgeously. I wanna show you this progress keeper here. Can you see those little oh. eyeglasses? Where did you They're get those? Sassy eyeglasses. My sister sent me those in the mail. Look how cute those are. Those are there's a, there's one there. Oh, and there's another. It came with three. Here's another. Another. Well, it's not going to show up as well. But anyway, they're so cute. The, the little fun things like that just make knitting so worth. And that color just goes so good with you. Got to take. Thank you. Got to take all that out and re-knit, and I just don't have, well, I don't have needles with me, oh. a bigger needle size, so I'm just gonna wait till I get back. Not in Charlotte? No, I just brought this, because I thought that's all I needed. Oh. oh, you know what? No, I don't. I have the needle, this gauge of needle, okay. but I don't have one size up. So, that's in my bags. And when I get back to Milwaukee, I'll be able to tackle that. So more than likely, it will not be done anytime soon. So that's in my bags. And then one other thing that was in my bags the last time, if you remember this yes. little bag, yes. it is the um, everything, every, no, it's the little thing, little leftovers shawl. Oh, this one. That the, one. The colors you And using. I am, I'm almost done with this. I'll be finished with this this week. Um, let's see, how would it go? It goes like this. So you can see I'm getting there. Mm -hmm. I think I have, um, this is section 19 and there's only 25 sections. So um, yes, you're getting yeah, I'm getting end. there. I love the color. I'd try it on, but it's. I'm afraid it'll come off the needles. You don't want. No, I don't want that. it to come off the needles. But it will be really pretty. Mm hmm. Wouldn't that be pretty? Yes. So that's my little leftovers shawl. You did great picking out the scrappies. Yeah. I'm not so sure about that, but I don't know. It is what it is. It's a cowl, not a shawl. Left, oh, little leftovers true. cowl. Cowl. Yeah. That's all. I have not cast anything else on, and I haven't been working on anything else. So in my bag, that and the skirt is the only thing that I've been working on. I, I haven't even been doing any other crop that I haven't, I just didn't bring with me. Been reading a lot. What have you, oh, you talk about your. Well, have you shared everything that's in your bags? I have. Before we get to the book bag, why don't you? Sh I don't have anything out of my bags, but I okay. know you have something out of your bags. I have two things. 
I want to try this hat on because it'll make my hair looky. I have had this hat done for a oh, while. I love that. But I finally put the tassel on it. But this is my first hat I think I've ever made for me. Really? I don't like hats on me. Why? I don't know. They just don't look good. Okay, let's see. Oh, that fits you perfect. Yeah, thank you. Did you make it for me? <laughs> oh, I'll think about it. I love that. And My the hat, that feels so good. And remember the, the long scarf I made uh, yeah. and the Fidula Smiths? Did you wear the mittens? No. I mean, did you did you finish the mittens? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all done. So the but, whole set is done. Yes, yes. I actually have it sitting in my knitting room on display. Yeah. Should I wear it or display it? Wear it. <laughs> Both. So, yeah. I, since we're podcasting, I thought you would... I thought I would show you that. Mm -hmm. Now, this is my pride and joy for right now. Oh, my gosh. That's so cool. Um, I have a friend <gasps> that has asked me to make a prayer blanket for her. Oh, for the last two years. And I finally finished it. Um, it's it's like a lap blanket. But she asked for it to be like in a beige color, off-white. Oh, my goodness. So, I added this soft, mauvey pink to it four times. Mm. And... I blocked it. I'm so pleased with it. Oh, shit. Does it smell good? Mm-hmm. That is so beautiful. But there are four, four different stitches. There's different stitches in four rows, and then it's repetitive. So I have, what, just your knit stitch, and mm -hmm. then purl, and then a seed stitch. This is... This is stockinette. Yes, garter, stockinette. Garter seed. Garter. garter. Okay. So it's just really garter, garter stockinette, stockinette, and seed. Yeah. Is all the, oh my goodness, it's yes. beautiful. And then. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> In the midst of making this, I thought I need to personalize this. Oh, so that's she doesn't so forget pretty. who made it. So that says Dying Line Dreams, which is your handle on Instagram. Yes. <gasps> Oh, how I can't nice wait to I'll give it to is. her next week. Yeah, I and order I ordered those. those through Archer Knits. So if you just go on Archer Knits, they have all kind of labels. And the is service this their card? Yes. That's their card. Archer Knits. These okay, these um labels are so oh, nice. It's, what is this? And you is it? It's almost like a suede. A suede leather, yeah. I don't know if it says and it's, it. She's got snaps. Oh, I, I love just, that. And what I liked about, um, oh, before she, before I got the order, I got an email one day with a draft of it mm -hmm. and asked, you know, if everything looked okay, a proof is what I'm, and I like that because mm -hmm. I had a chance to change if I decided differently. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I get to get this to her. Um, this is a knit pick yarn. Mm, it's so soft. Um, and you know, when I was knitting it, I thought this isn't as soft as no. I wish oh, it yes, was. Oh, yes, it is. But after I blocked it, it got softer. Yeah, it is very soft. I so love it. So finally, after two years, I, I'm so selfish with my knitting. I When I knit, I like to knit for me. That's not selfish. Oh, it's just that I think we've been burned so much of knitting for people who yeah. really are not knit worthy. Right. But you don't want to do it if you're going to take the time to do it. You want to do true. it because you know you love it. Yep. And I want to wear it. That's beautiful. Yeah. So, very, Loretta, very good. if you're watching the podcast, it's coming your way soon. That's right. There is one thing down in this bag that I have for you. What? No, 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 no. I lost this. I know. <gasps> the last time she was here oh. at Christmas, we went, we <sighs> remember we met uh, Linda at Johnson City. Yes, Lines. yes. And so it, we were flying out of here that day because another one of my grandchildren were in the hospital. Yeah. And I was trying <laughs> to get out of here. 
And you, she swore up and down she t had taken that home with her. I mean, I called she you one night. everywhere. And, and I said, said, are you sure you have it? She said, I, I, I know I took, I brought it home with me. And she was just sick because she had lost oh, it. And I literally, that was when I organized my yarn. Because I took all the yarn out of my shelving thinking it's in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. Nowhere to be found. So I thought, I, I hope it's not laying in the lane. I hope it, because, so that, oh, Todd and I oh. came up here. Um, I'm so happy. The 26th, the day after Christmas, right? Yeah. Yes. We came up. No, no. We did not come up. You and I were here in December. Yeah. That, I flew back. I didn't, okay. I didn't come back up here till February. Okay. And I found that in, down <sighs> in the cushion of the sofa. I just want to cry. It's. Happy I'm going to make an what is it? Easy peasy scarf. The the the, the so handkerchief. The Sophie scarf. Sophie. Yeah yeah yeah. It is, easy peasy. It is pretty easy peasy, but it's called the Sophie scarf. Okay. Maybe I'll start that in a little bit. I've started like two things. I'm thinking about maybe a cow. Now this, and we wanted to do a headband. I cannot believe that I. Your brain can just do a number to you. Because I swore, I knew, I had it laying on my desk in my knitting room. And I remember vividly, I was trying to figure out where to put it. I didn't even have it. <laughs> uh, oh, well, thank we'll just, you. We'll just keep that between us. <laughs> the world won't tell anybody. <laughs> You're all knitters. You know what it's all yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. You envision something. It's like, you know, you have hundreds of skeins of yarn, but I wanted this one. Mm -hmm. I well, didn't care new. about it. It was new. I mean, the, just the presentation of it. Mm -hmm. It's very pretty. <sighs> You're yeah. the best. So now you have your yarn back. Yes! <laughs> A yarn that I thought I would still find in my house someday. Yeah, yeah. You probably were mad. I mean, I even thought, because that was doing... Christmas time, and I thought oh, it's probably put away with my tree and my mm. ornaments, and, but I wasn't going to go that far. Mm. I thought if it's meant to be, I'll find it next Christmas. Yes. Mm. All right. So let's go do let's do our book bags real quick, and then we'll do our shopping bags. Okay. She did, she is not. <laughs> Could you do that again? We'll just capture. <laughs> no book bag. She I don't care. I don't know who she is, but she does not <laughs> like to read. Her, my mother and my father did not like to read. Mm -mm. We were talking about this today, but Debbie and I, we are avid, avid readers. readers. I mean, like, we can never get an, enough books. And my girls read, my granddaughters read, my even my grandsons read, and you I, just do not like to read. And I, I admire people that read, but I can't do it. I just can't do it. And now that I knit... I am not taking away my well, time yeah. to read a book. But I, I bet, but, but, I, I, I read in the bathtub. You can't knit in the bathtub. Uh, I read at nighttime in bed when Todd's sleeping, when the lights are out, yeah. so I read on my Kindle. I have been reading on my Kindle two books. They are the Alex Cross series, the James Patterson books is the Alex, Alex Cross series. And the first one is um, Along Came a Spider, and the second one is Kiss the Girls. And they are so intense, I had to take a break from them. As much as I wanted to start that third book, it was like I can't. I mean, I was, I was, cha I was running from people in my dreams. I was just like, oh, I, I, they're good books, but boy, are they intense. So if you want, I mean, <clears throat> it's, it's nothing new. I'm sure everybody's read them by now, but oh my lands, it's such a good series. And so, I want that leads me into our April book. If you're going to read with me. The book that we're going to start, and it doesn't even come out till um, April the 4th, I think. So, this will be up. This will be up. It's after the. It's April 4th already. So, you can get the book now, but it's called Camp Zero, and it is by Michelle Min Starling. Oh, I will put a picture of the book in here. And um, so, if you want to read along with me, some of you have reached out to me. I've had several of you reach out to me. What I need you to do is message me on Instagram. Drop a note below again and rem remind me that you want to read this book with me. And then I will try to message, get a group message together on Instagram. And then maybe we will have um, 
we will schedule some video conference, uh, video chats on Instagram, and we can discuss the book together and, and get everybody's feedback. From what I understand, it's an awesome book. So it's Camp Zero by Michelle Min Sterling. And so we will be starting that. So today is Sunday. So by the time this hits YouTube, it'll be the fourth. Uh, I mean, it'll be Thursday, which will be what? Today's second, third, fourth, fifth, the sixth. So it is, if you're watching this on the day that it goes, uploads to YouTube, it's April 6th. We will be reading this book the whole month of April. So if you want to read along with me and you want to be involved in our little video chats, leave me a message either here or on Instagram, preferably Instagram, but here as well. If you leave a message here, let me know what your name is on Instagram so I can reach you over there. Yeah. So that is in the book bag. Now our shopping bags. We've had some fun shopping. I'm not going to go back to... We stopped. Where's your shopping bag? You know what? My two projects that my work's in progress, that was my new that yarn. That was your shopping bag. Yeah. It sure was. Um, well, mine is, the only thing I got was, I'm going to start the April cardigan by Petite Knits. And I don't have, I haven't even bought the pattern yet, so I don't have it to show you. Oh. But this is what I'm going to knit. It's with Rowan Felted Tweed. And it's a brown but it's in the got... store, it if you put it beside of another brown, it kind of looked purplish. It's got a little tone there. That, yeah. But, oh. It, and, it, and it's they tweed. They can't see the speckles. The tweed in it. Yeah. But there's Are blue you... and cream. And so there's blue and cream. And what is the name of the sweater here or cardigan? April. Yeah. The April cardigan. Okay. How fitting. It's April. Oh, yeah. That was totally... <laughs> <laughs> totally by accident. So this is Rowan Felted Tweed and the color, oh, they don't give colors, they just give colorways and it's colorway number 145. Oh, that, that's... It's so pretty. I have knit yeah. with this before. I actually wore a sweater today yes. that I had knit from this. Knit you with this. wore that on the podcast. Yeah, I came home and I got so comfy oh. and would put a sweatshirt on, so... I've already got that put away, but yeah, it was it was the Marled Mania sweater mm -hmm. that I knit in this. So I've worked with it before, and I know I like it. And I made a shawl out of it. Um, yeah, we both did, yes, didn't we? With the um, no, I didn't. You got it. I I ended up getting something else. Okay. Yeah, mine was a silkier that pink. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then another thing that we both got. <gasps> this yes. is the Mindful Collection, and I absolutely love this. Mm. The little gadgets that make I us know. happy. This is so cute, but it is a beautiful needle gauge. And on one side, it's the U.S. sizes. And then on the other side, it's the millimeter sizes. Mm -hmm. So I love, love, love that. But isn't that beautiful? Can I see it? I don't know. I, uh, there, that's better. It is so pretty. I mean, I've already And it's used sterling mine. silver. It's just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, yeah, it's by the Mindful Knitter. This says Knitter's Pride. I don't know. If, I don't think that that so, would be on Knit Picks. I don't think so. It isn't. Okay. I mean, it might. I don't know. But it's so well presented. Uh, Knitter's Pride must be another company. Are there knitter, knitters? Yeah, pride knitters pride needles. needles. Yeah, but doesn't Knit Pick sell those? I oh. thought that was Knit Pick. Okay, that thing. I don't know. I don't know either. But it comes in this cute little muslin bag. Sweet. Yes. Sterling silver plated metal needle gauge. You found that for it. You said, yes. "Did you see that over there?" And I'm like, I got quality. some scissors. Yes, those are cute. Are these just not the little Swiss little dots. Things? I'm not very good at. Anyway, so I let me check here. I that's it. I did get a sweater today too, but oh, it's over there. You have wear to, another. Yeah, I'll wear another. Maybe podcast. your next pocket. Very colorful. Yeah, and I got this. Yep, you did. No, that's so comfy. It is just for around the house, <laughs> around the yurt. Yum, sweet yum. This was. A delight. Yeah, that's it. We're all done.
We have nothing else to show. Nothing else to talk about. We're going home. We're going back to Charlotte tomorrow. Come boo his. I'm going to go take a hot bath right now. Oh, okay. See y'all later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She, she wants to That's finish it. She We're wants going to finish in. the podcast all by herself. No, I don't. While you're getting a bath, I'm going to lay down in bed because I don't feel that oh, good. I'm so sorry. Do you have anything to take? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat a peppermint. That usually helps me. And I'll okay. do that. And then as soon as you're done, I'm getting a well, bath. Well, you take a bath first. Then you can... All right. I might take yeah. you up on that. And then I'll, I'll figure out why I'm, I'm so cold. It. And I don't know if it's cold in here. <gasps> no. Okay. Well, we'll get over it. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank yes. you for joining in. And thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Mm, I always love you this. You rock. We have the best time together. We do. Tell all of your friends about this channel. Yes. The yes. numbers, I know, don't mean anything, but they kind of do. I mean, you know, like, it's an encouragement to me when I see my subscription oh, go up. I'm sure. And it's discouragement to me when I see them go down. So tell your, tell your friends. They can join our little friendship Let's group here. Leave me a comment cheer. below. Yes. Um, I love talking to you. Introduce yourself if you've never done that. Let me know. Let me know what you're knitting. Let me know what's in your bags. Let me know what you're drinking. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Let's just uh, expand our knitting community. I love it. And just remember that in all you do, take it one, one stitch, stitch at, a, at time. a time. Hey, I was just up there putting stuff away in the car. And some man walked by and said, if I show him my boobies, he'd give me a bottle of wine. Well, what'd you do? I, I, Where did he go? He went that way. <laughs>